Hi, I'm Michael Roth, and today we're going to be making a microscope camera out of a regular old cell phone camera. You're going to need everything you see right here, including a microscope. You'll need a slide with something on it, and there's another video to show you how to do that. Once you've got it made, make sure you have it with you. And then you need a ring stand and some kind of clamp from a chemistry classroom. I like three-fingered clamps, but anything that will hold a phone works fine. And then don't forget a camera phone of some kind. Make sure that the camera is somewhere easily accessible, up in the top corner is best, but most cameras have something that will be usable in some form. Obviously it varies from each model. The first thing you're going to need to do is get your clamp onto your ring stand and get it screwed on and make sure you want the angle to be approximately parallel to the angle of your microscope lens. So it'll be looking something like that. Throw your slide onto your microscope and then take your camera phone and slide it into that clamp and tighten it down. Now when you align it with your microscope you're going to notice that you want about an inch maybe a little more space between the phone and the lens and basically what you want to have in mind is that this camera needs to be right at the same spot as your eye would be if you were looking through the microscope. As you adjust it you're going to see a lot of black until you start to get it in line and as you play with it and there's going to be a lot of trial and error here eventually you're going to see it snap to focus down the microscope and you'll start to see something that approximates what you're looking for on the slide. From here be careful as you adjust and I really recommend that you only adjust one axis at a time. So as you want to get it centered you want to rotate it about the Z axis and try and keep it the same height and the same distance from the lens then get it a little closer a little further away maybe go a little further up in the clamp or a little further down but only do one at a time until you've got it centered right where you want it and from there it's just like using a regular little camera phone you can take pictures, multiple students can look at the pictures basically do whatever you need to do in the lab. Good luck.